Good morning, Trish here from Fat Lady Crochet. And today I'm going to show you how to make an adorable little off the brooch. Um, now, I did find this really nice, fluffy, fuzzy yarn that was perfect for little Oscar, but um, it's really difficult to see the stitches when you're using this kind of yarn. So I'm going to use um, just a cotton yarn in a color that I think is going to work okay for an Oscar, um, just so you can kind of see, uh, follow along as I'm going. And he's still going to come out pretty good, I think. And um, but when you when you're using this kind of yarn, like like as you can see, it's really difficult to to see any of the stitches. You have to kind of go by feel, and that's not an easy thing to do, um, especially for new new crocheters. So it was even you know it's not even easy for me to do. So and I've been crocheting for like a long long time. So uh, so yeah, we're going to use this cotton yarn because I think it's it's a color that's going to work okay and you're going to need your um you're going to need your g hook you're going to need your scissors you're going to need um gray i'm going to well let's see you're going to need some gray you're going to need some black and you're going to need some white you're going to need two quarter inch black buttons for the eyes and you'll need your tapestry needle so i've got all of that stuff ready to go. So let's jump in and make a little Oscar together. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just get um, my yarn onto my hook. And we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little Oscar's body. Um, we're gonna work from the bottom up in continuous rounds. So you won't be doing any joining. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is just uh, chain five. One, two, three, four. Five, join with a slip stitch to make a circle and then into the circle we're going to single crochet nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oops, hold on. Wonder if I got the wrong end. Oh, I did. Of course I did. Well, we're going to fix that. Hold on a second here. Oh, did we? Maybe not. No, I think we did okay. Um, I, I was thinking that it, it wasn't coming out from the center, but I think, oh, it wasn't. All right, here we go. Uh, I was at six. We're going to finish this round here. Seven, eight, and nine. And I've still got this really long tail here, so I'm going to use this up before we switch over to the center. So now I'm going to increase uh, around. So I'm going to, in each single crochet, I'm going to increase. So that means I'm going to put two single crochets into each single crochet around. That'll take me up to 18 stitches. Uh, this is five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. That's something weird there. Hold on. This cotton yarn is, um, you know, it's it's a little bit. Here we go. Nine, ten. It's stiff, so it behaves differently than the acrylic that I'm used to. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so now I've got 18 on here. What I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to, let me just think here. I'm going to go up to, let me just look at my little guy here. Oh no, I stayed at 18. Okay, so pop, there he is. All right, we're going to stick with 18. So, I'm going to just single crochet around. We are going to single crochet around uh, 18 stitches. We're going to make almost like a little tube. This is a nice quick pattern. It works up quickly, actually. Um, and it's so cute and it's very simple. And I find that this is a good seller at my markets. I think um, 
these little these little things that people can buy for their friends and family to sit next to them, you know, at their computer when they're working. Um, I think that's I think that's who buys them. Is, is there a lot of gifts here? Okay, I've come to the end of this here. So I'm going to just make it easier on myself and switch over so that my yarn is coming from the center. And the reason why I think it's easier is because I won't have <clears throat> this skein of yarn lying around all over the place. Um, it's just going to be sitting right here nicely. It better, I hope, unless there's a big yarn bark in the middle of it, which there very well could be. But uh, it should just sit there nicely and not move and not become a pain in the neck. So like I was saying, these, these little guys, these little Oscars, um, they, they actually bring people over to your table if you're a vendor at a market. They recognize him, especially people who, you know, grew up watching Sesame Street. Um, actually, I don't, I don't even know if Sesame Street's still going. My kids are older now, so like I have no idea. But um, Oscar the Grouch is kind of iconic, isn't he? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to single crochet. I'm going to go up to how many rounds am I doing here? I can't quite remember. I'm going to single crochet for now up to nine rounds. I'm going to speed up the, uh, <clears throat> the video here and do my nine rounds and then come back and we'll talk about whether or not that's going to be long enough. And we might have to put on 12, but we're going to stop at nine, come back and talk. Okay. So I'll catch you back here in just a minute. All right. See you in a bit. Okay, so here we are. We've got nine rounds on here, and it's not quite big enough. It's not quite tall enough, I don't think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on three more rounds of 18. That's going to take us up to 12 rounds of 18. And then after that, we're going to do some increases uh, so that we can start on the head. So now just a minute here. I, I'm actually just going to stop at 10 here and kind of kind of determine what's going on because we want it to be long enough that it will fit into the garbage can, but not too long. We don't want it poking out really high. So now I know we haven't made the garbage can and we can kind of adjust that as we go as well, but let's just see what happens when we get to 10. I think, I almost think 12 might be too long we don't want him to be really tall sticking out of the garbage can and um by the way this is how i write patterns so i kind of go um i kind of make make it up as i go and kind of eyeball it and see what's going to work what doesn't work and sometimes i do some frogging as well okay so that's 10. this is 10. you know i kind of want to stop here and um, now I do, I do just want to say one other thing here because I'm going to show you in comparison um, with this guy. So depending on the kind of yarn that you're using, um, you're going to, you know, I'm using a cotton here and this is a fluffy acrylic. So it, it's very similar. It's good. Um, I don't know how many inches that would be. I would say probably one, maybe two and a half, two and a half inches. But it doesn't have to be perfect. That's the thing. Never ever think that your amigurumi has to be perfect. Um, I am not a person that does really intricate, fine, um, beautiful, you know, precise pieces because I just, I don't know, I just can't seem to do it and I find it really frustrating. So um, just, just chill out. I mean, your Oscar, he's pretty basic. He's going to be just fine. All right, so here we are. We have 10 rounds 
that looked really good actually in comparison to um, the Oscar that we have. So now what we're going to do is we're going to increase around into each stitch we're going to put in two single crochets. So we're going to go from 18 single crochets in the round to 36. So let's do that together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen. 14, 15, oops, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, Two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, thirty. Two, three, thirty-four. Oops, hold on. No, what? No, that's okay. Yeah, no, we're good. And thirty-five and thirty-six. I thought I had just missed doing an increase there, but we're good. Okay, so now we've got this shape here, and so this is the beginning of the head. So it's like that. And now all we're going to do is single crochet around. So it's 36 stitches all together. And we're going to do three rounds of 36 stitches. And then we're going to come back and see what we think. So I will see you in a second. Okay, here we go, guys. Um, now here's here's the um the little bod and the um head of our Oscar, and so we've increased um thirty six. Oh, just a minute, one two three. Yeah, I got thirty six, and then we single crochet for three more rounds of thirty six. So let's find out how many um how many how many rounds that is total. That's one two three four five six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so that's 14 rounds total. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start to decrease this head part. So it starts to make, um, you know, sort of that rounder shape, that bowl shape. So what we'll do is we're at 36. We're going to take it down to 27. So we are going to go single, single, single. Let me just put it Single, single, decrease. That's what we're going to do. Single, single, decrease. We're going to do that nine times. And then that's going to take us from 36 stitches to 27. Okay, so here we go. Single, single, and now it's time for the decrease. So this is stitch three. Single, single, and a decrease. Stitch six. Single. Single, decrease, there's nine, single, single, decrease, that's stitch 12, single, single, decrease, that's stitch 
single, single, decrease, stitch 18, single, single, decrease, 21, single, 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 decrease, that's 24. And here we have one left. Single, single, and decrease. Okay, so now we're at 27 stitches. You can see how it's kind of rounding out now. We're going to take it down again to 18 stitches. So what we'll do here is we will go Single decrease, single decrease all the way around. We'll do that nine times. That will take us down to 18. So here we go. Single, there's my first decrease. Single, that's my second decrease. Single, Decrease number three, single, decrease four. We're going up to nine decreases. Single, decrease five, single, yeah. that's eight. I'll count them when we're done here. De uh, single, Seven, two more, single, and a decrease, eight, and I believe this is the last one, but we're gonna count our stitches when we're done here, okay? Make sure we're looking to have 18 stitches on this round. Let's just double check. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, we're gonna do one more. Um, one more single and one more decrease. Okay, so uh, you might be wondering why I'm not using a stitch marker. And that's because I never have and I don't mind counting. So if you need to have a stitch marker, go for it. Um, you would have put one in right here. I should have mentioned that way back then. Thankfully, this isn't a very long project. Okay, so here we go. We have got the beginning of our little Oscar brooch bod and head. What we're going to do now, we're going to do one single, uh, one row of 18 around here. So single crochet around 18. Then we're going to see if we think it's time to stuff, or if we're, I think we're probably going to wait a minute uh, to do our next round and then we'll stuff. But let's wait and see. So let's just do a single, uh, single crochet all the way around. So 18 stitches. I have no idea where I am. I think this is one, two, three, four. Okay. Five, six, seven. So again, just single crochets all the way around, 18 stitches, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and here's my last one, and 18. Okay, so I think what we will do actually is we will stuff the bottom, then we're gonna do some, cause we're gonna close the top here. So we're gonna start the bottom, then we're gonna do a few increase, uh, sorry, decreases here, and then we're gonna stuff the head. So with your fiber fill, now here's the thing about fiber fill, you wanna go in small amounts and um, you, you have to shape it as you go. So I'm going to hold on to mine like this to make sure that it's not just going to poke out. Um, you have to support it when you're when you're shaping them. You have to support what you're doing. So if you just take a big, huge gob of um, fiber fill and just stuff it in, it's going to get lumpy and bumpy and overstuffed in some areas and not stuffed enough in other areas. So you have to you have to work with it. You can't just stuff it in and then expect that um, your piece is going to look good like you have to you have to you know 
take some care, take some time, go slow. All right, here we go. Okay, so now I've got my bottom. Now the reason I'm not stuffing all the way up to the top is because I find it, um, if I've stuffed it all the way to the top, I find it hard because the fiber fill kind of pokes out and then it ends up getting caught in the stitches and I don't like that. So I want to, um, I'm gonna decrease here a few times. I don't want my hole to be small enough that I can't get the stuffing in, but I just wanna make sure that I'm not um, catching the, the fiber fill in my stitches as I go. So let's decrease here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna decrease around the whole way, that's the plan. So it will go from 18 stitches to nine stitches. And um, we're gonna just put in four uh, decreases right now to see how big uh, that's gonna leave, biggest space where it's gonna leave us. So one, two, three, four. I think we can keep going. Five, six. Mm, I think we might be able to do the whole way. Seven, maybe, yeah. Eight, and let's see, nine. Can we do it? Is nine going to be too many? I think we can do it, guys. Okay, so now we've got this little hole. That's definitely big enough for me to finish stuffing, but I am going to just fasten this off. So I'm just gonna um, leave about, cause we need to sew, we need to sew the top here. So you don't wanna cut it too short. And I always say cut too long. So um, this is about eight inches. Just cut that, put that out of the way. And then I'm gonna finish stuffing. Little by little. And what I'm doing as I go is I kind of can feel around and see where the stuffing needs to go. Now you want to stuff it firmly, but not so it shows through your stitches. And I find when I'm working with cotton yarn, I have to really be careful with that because um, the cotton yarn, when you're, when you're working with it, doesn't really stretch. So whereas with acrylic, um, you know, you get a bit, little bit of a stretch and then it'll bounce back and then you won't have sort of noticeable uh, gaps in your, in your work. But I love the look of working with cotton yarn. So, you know, you have to sort of figure out what you wanna do. But I, am, I will say that I am moving towards using more natural fibers. Um, I've been pretty in the dark and um, about the uh, impact that acrylic yarn can have like on manufacturing, the manufacturing of it. So it's not really that nice. So uh, I do wanna move to some better options. Okay, so that's good. I'm happy with that. What I'm gonna do now is just grab my tapestry needle and we're gonna close this little guy up. So I'm just gonna pop it through there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, just do a stitch into the front loop of each stitch around. So, and I'm gonna gather them. So just um, draw it through the front loop in each stitch all the way around. So that's nine stitches. And then we're going to pull it gently, but tight enough that we can close it and then we'll knot it off. Okay, so there we go. So I'm gonna just tie a knot here. And then when you're tying your knot, always do a few. So I've, I've I'm gonna put one right there and then I'm gonna poke it through um, to another random spot. Do another knot. That'll be good. And then I'm gonna just keep poking that through a few times. So the reason why is because, um, and I've had this happen, um, you know, when I kind of first started making toys, I would, I would have a short tail at the end and and it would work its way out. Like it would work itself out. And then I would have, like it would look like this. And I couldn't, I couldn't fix that. It, 
you know, just I couldn't poke it in or anything like that. Okay, so I can either trim this. Oops, sorry guys, I can either trim this or what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw it in. Okay, so there we go. There's our little Oscar head and body and I'm pretty happy with that. That's a good size. And now I think what we will do is a little face. So get your white yarn and get your buttons out. So that's two uh, quarter inch buttons. Now you can use safety eyes. I never use safety eyes um, because they, I've, I've had bad luck with them. So they always pop out when I when I've used them. So, uh, you know, especially if you're doing um, gifts for little kids, don't use buttons either. Don't use buttons or safety eyes. Um, you'd want to embroider things or you'd want to, you know, do, um, you know, crochet the eyes sort of thing and sew them on really well. So, but for these guys, uh, the, we're assuming that these are going to be given to people um, <laughs> to put beside their computer, especially for those uh, work meetings that um, you know, can make it kind of crabby like Oscar the Grouch. All right, so we're gonna do our, our eyes. And what we're gonna do is single crochet, or sorry, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And join with a slip stitch into that first chain to make a ring. Into the ring, we're going to single crochet nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oops, we're stop stopping at six. We're going to join with a slip stitch in that first one. And then we're going to fasten it off, okay? So it's just a small circle. And we're going to leave a nice long tail because we're going to use that for sewing onto our face. So I've got this little circle. It's not a perfect circle, but that's okay. And then we're going to get our black buttons onto those. Let's get our pupils onto our eyeballs. Let's just find the right the right, uh, the right needle here. <clears throat> and I always like to use, like this is a super thin cotton. I don't even know what size that is. I think they call it crochet cotton. And I like to use that for my details. So I'm, I'm making, I did a long one. I, it's about, gosh, I don't know, 24 inches probably. And it's got a little knot here. So that's not, that's not cool. Let me just cut this off here. That's going to cause some problems. All right, let's get it on here. And then um, we'll do our second eye. And the reason I made it so long is because, um, just to save time later, so I don't have to thread my needle uh, two more times because we're going to do two eyes and then we're also going to use this yarn for the mouth. So. I'm going to pop that on there. And go in from the back. I'm going to leave it long enough that I can tie a nice knot. And through there again. Okay, good. There we go. And uh, the other thing too that I find with this um, thin cotton yarn is that it's it holds up. It's stronger than just regular sewing thread, so I prefer to use that. As I like to keep it, you know, you know, as firm as possible, as as strong as possible. Okay, so now I'm going to just trim this off, not too short, because I do want to be able to tuck it in. If it's too short. Uh, I won't be able to, it won't stay tucked in. So about, I don't know, I'd say maybe one inch or something like that. And then um, should we just sew it on? Should we just get it right on there? I'm going to use my other tapestry needle that has a sharp, sharp end for this. 
And Oscar's face is so cute. Like those little Muppets are so cute. Okay, I'm gonna just poke it, poke it in here. So you see like I've got kind of this going on here, this sort of flat area. So I'm gonna just round it out a little bit, uh, round out my circle a little bit just by poking it in there, sort of inserts it. Not that it's gonna matter too much because we're gonna put some eyebrows over top anyway. So Oscar's little face, we are going to put these eyes on kind of in the middle of um, the face. So that would be, let's see what round that is. The middle, it's like right in here, right about there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So kind of between 13 and 14, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and sew that first one on. And what I like to do when I'm sewing them on is I like to make sure that I catch each stitch, like each of these stitches in the round here. Um, it just, I don't know, it seems to help the eye lay flatter. You know, if I'm if I miss a few stitches and end up not catching them all, then I have like a little piece that's kind of poking out or whatever. I just think it looks neater. And then you know how I said we were going to tuck this in. We're just going to tuck that in there. Those those um those ends so that we sort of hide them. And you do have to take your time on this. A lot of people don't like sewing, so they don't like doing. Um, toys and Amy to roomy like this. I don't mind it at all. Okay, so there's our first eye on there. So I'm going to speed up the video here. We will make the same eye again. So again, to do the white part of the eye, you are going to chain five, slip stitch in to the first chain to make a ring, single crochet six into the ring. Fasten off, leaving a nice long tail. I think we said, I don't even know what we said, 12, 14 inches, I can't remember and then put on your eye and we'll come back together and put the eyes on put the second eye on in the right place together when we're finished okay see you in a minute Okay, hi, we're back again. Second eye is made. I'm gonna just pop it onto my pointy tapestry needle. And then what we're going to do is get it onto the face. Now we don't want it, you have to sort of use your judgment guys. So we don't want it super close, but Oscar's eyes are a little, like some of the, some of the Muppets have eyes that are like this, but Oscar does not. Oscar has a face. So you have to kind of decide how you want it. Now, if you're doing um, sort of a classic Amy Gurumi look, you might want to spread it out quite a bit, but that will look probably less like Oscar. I want mine to actually look like Oscar. So I'm going to put my eyes, um, there's about three stitches in between, and I think that's good. Or do I want it a little closer? Yeah, I'm going to go a little closer. And if you want to Google, um, if you want to Google Oscar and you know sort of play around and see where you where you think those eyes are going to go, uh, do that. But for me, I'm going to go right beside here. About that's about two stitches apart, and I'm going to go ahead and sew those on. Sew this on.
there we go now. Let's do our little mouse. So I still have some yarn on my my needle here that I wanted to use for the mouth. Now his mouth is actually quite long. So I'm just gonna sort of see where it's gonna work best. So it kind of starts over here and I want it to come across sort of like that. Sort of like that. He sort of looks like a little frog right now, doesn't he? Okay, so <clears throat> we're gonna do that. And then once we're once we've done our little um, mouse, then we're gonna put on those bushy eyebrows. So uh, let's see how I'm gonna start this here. I'm gonna start it back here. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna tie my knot. I hope I have enough. I have enough on here. Let's find out. Okay, so where did I say that was starting? I'm going to start it. I think about there. Okay. And again, uh, go ahead and look online and see if, uh, if you like this placement of the mouth. And if you don't, then um, you can change it however you like. So it, it, his mouth is like, it's quite long and his smile is um, a thin little smile. So we're gonna just do this. And if it's a little bit crooked, that's okay too. Um, because Oscar, I mean, if you look online, you'll see pictures and I think, I think there are some you know, sort of a crooked smile. It's not a perfect little smile. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back. Now you actually might know a better way of doing this mouth. Um, I am self-taught, so that's that's why it is the way it is when I do it. But I bet you, I bet you there's better ways, and I'm sure some of you guys know. All right, I'm happy with that. There is this little bump here, so I'm going to just kind of use my the end of my tapestry needle to tuck it in a little bit. See if that helps. It's not perfect. Never is, guys. And I'm okay with that. I want you to be okay with it too. That'll work. And then I'm just going to tie a knot here. And I'm going to zip this in. Try to hide it. Now there might be a little black dot there, but we'll see what happens. I'm going to just tuck this one in too if I can. Easy way. There we go. Yep, perfect. Good. All right, I am going to just go grab some brown yarn so we can make his little um, his little mad eyebrows. So I will be right back. Okay, so we're going to make some bushy eyebrows. So we need something that's going to kind of go along that. So we're going to just do a simple, easy chain. Uh, start out with a long tail because you're going to want to tuck it in. So I'm going to start out with, uh, I don't know, like five inches ish. So like that. And we are going to chain until we think we're done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's see how that looks on here. Actually, twelve is probably good. I think twelve is probably gonna do it. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna do two more. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to single crochet back across here. So it'll be 13 single crochet. So I've chained 14. I'm going to um, go into the second chain from the hook and single crochet across. And we'll see if this is if these are going to be thick enough. Um, see, the reason is, is because I also have this brown fluffy yarn. And I haven't made um, I haven't made an Oscar with just regular old yarn before, so this is a learn as a go project for me as well. So we will have thirteen single crochets along our chain here, and we're going to see how it looks. And if we have to frog this, 
that's not a big deal. It was like super quick, super quick little, little addition. Okay, so let's see. Oh yeah, no, that's good. That's good. So his, his eyebrows, oh, this is gonna work out really good guys. You see how it kind of sticks out a little bit? That's perfect. So I'm gonna tie this, I'm gonna fasten this off with a nice long tail. This one, the tail that I'm doing is probably about 15 inches. I want lots and lots of room. It's, that's definitely overkill, I will tell you that. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to um, just stitch along the chain, the top of the chain. We're gonna stitch that um, in kind of a, you know, a mad little, mad little way. And we want to overlap those eyes a little bit. So let's do that. And I'm gonna use, my pointy, um, my pointy one. So I need to just get, uh, get it back up here, up to the chain. So I'm just gonna do a quick stitch up and this is gonna be in my way. So I'm gonna just get him out of the way. And these eyebrows, you guys, they don't have to be perfect. So, but what you wanna do, like you don't want them to look like this because then he's got kind of a sad face, right? Start up here. Start, I'd say start up about one uh, round up. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna sew it kind of down this way and then and then up again that way. So I want them to be about even though. So I'm gonna start here. Bet you you could use pins too. I bet you could pin this on. Uh, I've seen some of you guys use pins like to get your um, your things sewn on, I think it's just brilliant. It's probably a lot easier than the way that I always do it, but I don't always take the easy way. Sometimes I make things harder for myself. But you can kind of see how I'm going, you know, I'm sewing it sort of down, angling it down. And if I have to re-sew it again, no problem, I will. But so far, I think that's all right. I think I want it, you know what? I'm gonna undo a couple of those stitches because I do want it to overlap his eyes a little bit more. So I'm gonna come down a little bit further towards the center between those eyes. I'm gonna come down a little bit further. to have he's kind of grabby this guy so I have to make sure his little eyebrows show that yeah that's good that's good okay and then I'm gonna I'm gonna stitch it back up again Kind of like that. Anyways, get these eyebrows on. Very simple pattern. Once you've made a few, you're going to be whipping through them. They won't take long at all. Like it said, they're a good seller for markets. Yep, I like it, it's good, it's a little bit, you know, it's not perfect. Now what I'm gonna do though, I've got this over here and I've got this over here. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna poke this through to the other side here and then I'm gonna tie it uh, in a knot. So then I can hide both together. It's knotted on and um, that will, I'll be able to hide these, um, these ends. And um, so I'm gonna use my blunt tapestry needle to do that. The reason why, the reason I use my two different um, tapestry needles, I'll, I'll just explain that. So my pointy one, I use when I'm sewing um, the details on, 
because um, I'm able to just work into, you know, the top sort of layers of, of the yarn. I don't know if you can see that. It's sort of shiny, but um, I can kind of work through the top layers. With my pointy one, I can't, I can't. It's, it has, it, it just guides itself through the entire, um, the entire width, I guess, of the yarn. So I, it's hard to get into, like I'd have to like really work it and then I would end up pulling it out. But with my pointy one, I can, I can cut through, you know, the strands of the yarn. And the reason why I want to do that is because I want my features, they seem to sit better on top, right? So if I'm, if I'm sewing them on and, and they are sewn on quite securely, so you don't have to worry about that. But if I'm sewing them on and I'm using my blunt one, um, they, they kind of get misshapen. Whereas with my pointy one, I can sew them on to sort of just the surface and not deep inside and they will still they'll, they'll hold their shape better but um if i'm trying to if i was going to use my pointy tapestry needle to get these in to get these two um, tails in i would probably end up snagging it would be um it would get snagged it would get caught because with the pointy one you aren't necessarily just going to be going through the entire um, width of the yarn, you're going to probably end up going through some of the threads of the yarn, the, the pieces of the yarn. So where as with the, my blunt one, I know that when I poke it in, it's just going to slip in nicely and out nicely. Okay, so there we go. Okay, let's uh, just give this a little trimaroo. That in, work that in a little bit. He is so cute. I really like him. I really like this. Um, I love cotton yarn. I love how it looks. So that's that's our wee Oscar. And now what we're gonna do is the garbage can that he sits in. And so you're gonna need your gray. Have a sip of coffee. Get some of this stuff out of the way. Okay, so get your gray out. And we'll get onto our hook. And then we are going to chain five. Join with a slip stitch in the first chain to make a circle. Into the circle, single crochet knot. On round two, we're going to increase into each stitch around, bringing it from nine stitches to 18. So we're putting two single crochets into each stitch around. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay. And now we're going to go, we're going to bring it from 18 stitches to 27 stitches. So we will go single. How do we do that? Single increase, single increase, nine times. Uh, let's take it to 27. So this is our first increase. This is stitch three. Now it's a single and an increase. Stitch six. Single, increase, that's nine. Single, Increase there's 12. Single, increase 
is 15. Single increase 18. Single increase that's 21. Single increase there's 24. And single increase there, there's 27. All right, so we need it. Well, basically what we need is to make sure is that the bottom is a little bit wider than um, the base of our Oscar because we need it to fit into, we need them to fit into it. So we've got 27 here. Um, now I know that I've used um, cotton yarn for my Oscar. And so it's probably gonna be a little bit bigger than using an acrylic yarn. So I'm gonna stop at 27. It's still gonna work out for me, um, and, but, I, but it might be a little bit snug on my guy. And that's fine. It, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit snug. So I've got 27. Now what I wanna do is create kind of a base. And so the way to do that is to do one round of back loop only. So this is gonna be 27 stitches, single crochet into the back loop only. And what will happen is it'll give it a nice sort of uh, 45 degree angle shape at the bottom. So I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. You can kind of start to see that there's this little rim starting up here. Okay, so now you'll kind of see that um, there's this little rim and that will just help it stand better. So now what we're gonna do is single crochet, regular old single crochets. We're gonna do it for, I don't know. I don't know how many rounds. Let's go, let's do nine. Nine single crochet, nine rounds of single crochet. So that's going to be, that's going to take us up to uh, one, two, three, four. And we're going to do nine. So that's going to take us up to 13 rounds. So let's single crochet up to 13 altogether and come back and see if we think that's going to be um, tall enough for our little Oscar. So I'm going to speed up recording. And I'll meet you back here when we've reached 13 rounds all together on the garbage can and we'll see how we like it. Okay, we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so here I am. I have finished my, how many rounds is this again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 rounds. 
I think I need to add one or two more rounds, but I'm going to test it out and see. Now remember, my guy is going to be a little bit snug because of this cotton yarn. Okay, I do actually want it to be a little bit higher. So, and this is what you need to do too. So um, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, the different weights of yarn. So the yarns that I mostly use are worsted weight yarn. So medium weight yarns. And I always, well, I mostly always use my um, size four millimeter hook, or my G hook. <clears throat> but you will find that uh, worsted weight yarn, they vary. So from brand to brand, and even from color to color within the same brand sometimes. So when you're making amigurumi, you have to kind of eyeball it, see if it looks okay, because sometimes you do have to make adjustments. So if your garbage can is looking like perfect, perfect size, that's exactly what you want, then you need to um, you need to go ahead and fasten it off. Mine, you know, because I am, I, these are both worsted weight yarns, but you can see the difference in the stitches. So a cotton yarn has much bigger stitches than these um, than these acrylic ones. And you know, it kind of goes back to what I was saying about having the stretch. So the acrylic will stretch, whereas the cotton won't. So okay, let's see if this is going to fit our little Oscar. I think this might be better. But I might want to do one more round. I'm not sure. Actually, I think that looks really good. I, I think I like that. Um, now, you will notice that with this guy, there's quite a bit of a difference here um, between uh, that and like this guy's much more snug. But um, I'm happy with that. I think it looks pretty good. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fasten it off. I'm going to leave quite a long tail because I also want to just add a little stitch to the bottom so that I can kind of sew my little Oscar in so uh, he doesn't get lost. So I will go ahead and get this onto my needle. And I'm just going to bring it down, down to the bottom. And then doesn't have to be um, perfect because no one's going to be looking in there anyways. And I'm just going to take it over to the center and poke it back up. And then um, actually what, I've, what I'll do is I'll get my Oscar in there. Now what I'm going to do, I definitely have a uh, like a ridge there. So I want that at the back, the back of the piece. So that's good. Got my little Oscar in there and I'm just poking it a little bit more. <clears throat> okay, and then I'm going to just poke that in. Make sure that I'm poking through my Oscar, which I know I am. And I'm going to just zip it back here. And you can kind of see here where that ridge is, hey, like where we did our back loop only. So I'm going to just pop it in there. I'm going to tie a knot. And then I'm going to hide this tail couple times. When you're doing this, um, just be aware that you may end up having like a little um, <clears throat> a little divot where where you poked it, where you um, put the put the, um, the tail through. So just you can just use your tapestry needle and kind of work it, work it out a little bit. So here we go. Oh, and then the other thing that I'm going to do and I won't I won't do this um, right this instant is I'm going to use my um, either toothpick or bamboo skewer and some acrylic paint and just do two little dots on each eye for the eye shine. So I'm going to do that. You can kind of see the difference between them. Um, yeah. So you guys, thank you for joining me. And as always, I love to see your finished pieces. So please do tag me, Fat Lady Crochet, Tag me in your social media. I just really love it. And um, I might even share it. So um, what else can I tell you? Please do like and subscribe to my channel. It helps me get the word out um, and helps. I don't know. It helps. I don't know. I just like 
knowing that you guys are using my videos and using my patterns. It just is kind of gratifying for me. So thank you very much and have yourself a wonderful day. We'll catch you later.